Alright, All right, Shalom. Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS. I'm calling. Came back for another video. Get the Revelation to 16:50. Uh, before we go any further, we all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhak Madash. Devon to the other apostles, the great millstone of teaching us the word and present truth according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, we're just going to get into, you know, a lesson, you know, on, you know, watching, you know, keeping up the times and realizing that we're at the end of this thing and that it's time for you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to ultimately wake up. You know, that's why, that's the point. That's the whole reason why we go out there on the highways and byways, to blow the trumpet, to wake you up, you know, to wake you up, to, uh, to give you this knowledge, understanding, tell you who you are as a nation, as a people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans being the real biblical Hebrew Israelites, you know, and that you have to wake up out of that sleep and come back and have faith in Yahweh by Shema Shai, the world England calls God and Jesus Christ, and come back and keep the commandments to the best of your ability. Go ahead, bro. Come on. This is Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Yes, yeah, so the Lord is coming as a thief, you know, as a thief in the night, you know. To, uh, you know was a thief, when he comes, you know, he does not tell you when he is coming, you know. He, he watches and, and waits to catch you off guard, you know. That's what the Lord is going to do for a majority of our people. You know, he's going to catch a majority of our people off guard, and that's why... You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shah, the Lord has put a spirit on us to go out there on the highways and byways to warn the people. Go ahead. It reads on. Blessed is he that watches. Blessed is he that watches, you know. Uh, but watching for the prophecies, watching for the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast to be fully implemented, watching for World War Three. you know, the signs of the times, you know, watching what this devil is doing. By way of his uh, media, you know, his witchcraft, you know, this is what you should be watching, you know, and not only watching, but you should be speaking on these things, you know. Once you wake up and acknowledge the truth, you know, you in turn, you know, that's what Yahweh Shema Shai wants you to do. And once you get built up in the spirit, the Lord wants you in turn to go warn other people. You were warned, weren't you? You heard the gospel. Now go spread the gospel. Let them know. That the Lord is on his way back, you know, and that you got to get right. Good. And keep his, his garments. The garments represents this truth, this knowledge. Go ahead. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. See, listen, so this this truth is what's is what covering us. It's, it's, it's making us separate from the from this world. Get the uh, Ezekiel 7 and 14. This truth is what's uh, making us separate from this world, you know? This truth is what's preparing us for the times that are ahead, the times of war, the times of hate, you know? The time of civil unrest. Okay? This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 14. They have blown the trumpet. Who have blown the trumpet? The prophets of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, when they go out there and speak, they're speaking the war, even the pestilence that's going to come to this. Babylon the Great, you know, aka America, the, the uh, spiritually Solomon Egypt. Go ahead. Even to make all ready. Even to make all ready. We, we blow the trumpet, you know, which is the words of our mouth speaking uh, uh, the words of Yahweh Shema Shai, to make ready for it. Make you ready for the day of the Lord, you know, for this spiritual fight, you know, to where the so called white man. He wants to take, uh, you know, for, he wants to chip you with the RFID chip with the mark of the beast, you know? He wants you to cut you off from being a nation. But how can you fight this so-called white man? By having the Lord on your side, you know? That's the point. Yahweh Shema Shai is going to fight for us. Go ahead. But none go off to the battle. But none go off to the battle. Majority, majority of you, Jakes, you're still asleep. You're not waking up. You're not watching. So what? You're not blessed. You know? What's the opposite of being blessed? You're, you're cursed. You know? Okay. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For his wrath is upon the wicked of our people, the two-thirds, you know? The unbelievers. If you don't want to 
face the, 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 the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Hashem, then you have to wake up, you know? You gotta take heed to what the scriptures are saying, to what the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Hashem are saying unto you. In Ephesians 5, 14. Was there any more than that? Don't see. Yeah. <laughs> so we are warning our people week in and week out to wake up to the truth, you know? Wake up to this knowledge. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. See, Jake, you're asleep, you know? And the Lord's coming out of the thief, so you have to wake up, you know? We're blowing the trumpet, we're sounding the alarm, you know? So wake up, wake up thou that sleepest, you know? See that this so-called white man, Esau, Edom, according to the Bible, the deceiver, the accuser of our brethren, you know? Edom, the wicked, according to the Bible, he has a plan to eradicate you off the face of the earth, you know, so wake up, you gotta see what times we are really living in, we are living in the times of the end, and what do you see when you turn on the television, you see nothing but, uh, sodomites, you see nothing but, uh, you know, uh, uh, people partying, you know, and then when you go to the news, you see uproars of the people, you know, the Lord, you see earthquakes in diverse places, the Lord spoke about these things, you know, that these things would be happening upon his second return. The, 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 the only begotten son, the Lord, is about to make his second return and establish the kingdom of heaven on the planet earth, you know, it takes faith to believe that, you know, and the only way you're going to grow in your faith is by listening to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah, by the true teachers that he set up, starting with our apostles and elders, the great millstone, and the men on down. Go ahead. And arise from the dead. And the dead represents these other nations, you know? They don't have any life. Their ways that they are living down here on this earth. Get St. John 14, 14 and 6 told that. The ways that they are living are ways of death, you know? They are not uh, life. Go ahead, bro. This is St. John chapter 14, verse 6. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way. Yeah, the Lord said, well, I am the way. Follow me, you know? And the, it tells you in 1 Corinthians 11, chapter, in the first verse, you know, the Apostle Paul said, what? Be ye followers of me, even as I am of a Mashiach. So what? You follow the men that he set up. The Lord set up pastors according to his heart to feed you with knowledge and understanding. The knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, which which is ultimately going to be our shield and our buckler, you know? This is what's going to keep us stable when all hell is breaking loose and everyone is bugging out. You know, the Lord loveth none but them that dwell for wisdom. So those with this knowledge, they're going to be protected. Those who are woke, wake up. You know, they repent. They turn back sorrowfully to the God of the Bible. Ask to, for forgiveness of their sins the things that they have done down here on this earth. And that ask for the Lord to pardon your sins, you know, you give diligence to make your calling and election sure, and you come back and follow the Lord. Those are the ones that are going to be protected. Why? Because he said that he will protect them. Read it again. St. John 14, verse 6. Yahweh shall say unto him, I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, yeah. and the life. And the life. You see, the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, they are ways of life. You know, so you're waking up out of that congregation of the dead, you know, and the Mashiach shall give thee light, you know. He's going to give you the understanding to see what times we're living in, you know. And that's why when the prophets go out there, we speak about doom and destruction, because through the terror of the Lord, we persuade you, we threaten you, you know. Hey, get right or die. That's the, that's the, the serious, that's the, the seriousness behind the message. Go back to Ephesians. Uh, do we finish it all? Yeah. Any more, John? Just a little bit. Okay. It says, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yeah, what? No man cometh unto the Father but by Yahweh Shai. You know, because he's our mediator. Okay. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, mm -hmm. and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee life. Go ahead. See then that ye walk circumspectly. See then ye walk circumspectly. Well, someone who's watching circumspectly, they're looking around. They're watching. You know, they're they're being wise about their going. You know, they're understanding the times 
that they're living in. Go ahead. Not as fools, but as wise. Not as fools. The fools, they're, those are the ones who are not fearing the Lord. They're not They're not fearing the words of the Lord. So when the Lord sends his prophets and tells you about the coming death and destruction, they take it as a joke. So don't be as them. Go ahead. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. So we're living in evil times. You know, bad times. These are the times that we are living in. Go ahead, bro. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, mm -hmm. but understanding mm -hmm. what the will of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmah Shah is. Yeah, but understand what the will of the Lord is. You know, the will of Yahweh Bashmah Shah is for us to believe in the, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. You know, we believe uh, in the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. You know, Yahweh, that's why we uh, say that Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know? Um, go ahead. Keep going. I believe that was it, right? Okay. Give Romans 13 11. We'll close on that. Okay. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time. See, once you wake up to the truth, you gotta know what time you're living in, you know? The time of the end. Go ahead. Then now, it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now it is high time. You look about definition for high time in the blue letter, it says something that should have been done a very long time ago. You know, Jake, it's time to wake up. You know, you've come into wickedness long enough. Now it's time. You've tried everything, you know? And nothing has worked, so now it's time for you um, to come back and seek the Lord, you know, to seek him, um, you seek the Lord to the best of your ability. Okay. The reason, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yahweh Shai, you know, it's one day closer for the Lord coming back, you know, we don't know exactly when the Lord is coming back, so we are measuring the times, you know. Why wait to wake up when you can do it now, you know? Why wait to come back and seek your power when you can come seek him now, you know? And uh, and, and have less of a chance of him catching you off guard, you know? Catching you as a thief. Who's phone is that?